I think that punk rock exists a lot in rappers these days. Like I think Kendrick Lamar's album is punk rock and I think it's brilliant. And I think punk rock should inspire a DIY attitude. And Frank Ocean doing his mixtape and releasing it for free and doing a song like Thinking About You, which is which confused a lot of people and made a lot of people think about him differently. I think it was brilliant and I think it was a step forward for music and for a lot of people. Carly Rae Jepsen is one of my best friends and I, I owe her a lot. She She's a big supporter of me and my band and she's a big part of the reason why we're on the label that we are and I love her and she she took care of me, she took care of my dietary needs, she fed me a lot for a while because I eat like a dickhead. So she was, she was showing me uh, nutrition and I, I appreciate that a lot. Part of uh, what I love about producing music for other people and songwriting for other people is that, um, for instance, had I not been writing with Carly and Anami and uh, We Need Surgery and a bunch of other bands who I didn't really write with but I produced their album is that it freed me up artistically to do what I needed to do for my own album um, it, it, and it, it made it so that I could sort of maybe get ideas and I've learned a lot from working with them songwriting wise because they would take me down avenues I would never think of but it also, things that I've always wanted to do production wise, like the song Fuck Kevy, which is essentially a phone call, the whole song is a phone call to somebody, I couldn't really do that with Carly, you know what I mean? Maybe that's what Call Me Maybe should have been. But, uh, but I could definitely do it on my album. So really, in a lot of ways, Liar, my new album, is a producer's album because I got to do all the ideas that I've wanted to do for years. And I got to execute them the way I wanted to. I wouldn't be writing uh, songs and, and music the way I do if it worked for Tarantino because he constantly um, quotes and, and references music and movies that he loves for his own movies. And, and Liar is, my new album, is full of that. Like, there's Clash references, there's Bad Brains references, there's, you know, um, Most Deaf references, there's ASAP Rocky references, there's old references and new references, and it's just the way I write, it's the way we've always written. I didn't, I didn't go about trying to make a particular kind of song or record or fit in with a genre, I just did what I wanted to, and it's not a safe record at all because basically I'm like a lanky blonde guy uh, basically semi-rapping over guitars, which sounds awful. I wouldn't listen to it. Um, sounds like P.O.D., which they haven't had a hit in a while. So um, it doesn't sound safe, but um, it's really honest. I mean, all I listened to while writing this record was Motown, Bill Withers stuff, Sly and the Family Stone, Curtis Mayfield, and that kind of stuff. And it really influenced what I ended up doing. And uh, I don't know, maybe some people will think that it's just dis disingenuous because it is a pretty black record, but I kind of don't give a fuck. So that's what it is. It is what it is. What do we have to entertain us? What do we have?